guys. So you drove an hour and a half going back north. Going back, going back north, bro, for them to say it was picked up on Saturday and delivered today. Wow. So where you at now? I'm in, I'm in uh, Indiana. I'm dead. About to get ready to do my pre-trip to hit the road and uh went to go start the truck the truck won't start got a jumper on it right now the battery life it's not all the way full charge but we're gonna get it up there and see what we could do once it gets up i'm gonna try jumping it again if it doesn't i know for sure that my battery's probably shot um I don't know if I try to get an Uber to a O'Reilly or somewhere close by, see if I can get a battery and replace it. But we're gonna wait right now and see what happens. We are on our way, Illinois, man. Which means next uh, next six hours I should get there. Make this drop in the morning. And then we pick up a load and uh, heading home to Texas, man. Heading, heading to Texas. So uh, stay tuned. I make this drop, it'll be the end of the week for me. Um, that is, uh, so yeah, do follow me. and 30 minutes in my trip and I'm now gonna see where my next stop is I should be making one more I should be making one more stop before or I should make it a stop in Dansville as a matter of fact Illinois so let's go here let's go there I guess uh, this is the pilot right outside of Dansville so if I go here go to direction 239 I believe I should make it 3 hours and 30 minutes let's go let me see I got 4 hours and 26 minutes until my break so I should make it well before that so next stop will be Dansville Let's go. All right, all right. Uh, I would say good night, but I can't because it's five minutes past one a.m. So I'll say good morning. Uh, I'm about to go sleep, go rest up, wake up about 9 o'clock to make this drop in Dansville and head to Indiana and then head home to Texas. Um, so I'll see you guys in the morning. Yeah. Much later. Much, much later. What is going on? Uh, good morning, guys. Uh, it is right now about 7.30. Uh, I will be getting ready to make this drop to Dansville, Illinois, which is about 10 minutes away from here at 9 o'clock. And then I'll be, like I said, heading to Indiana for the drop, going back home to Texas. I will be at the end of this video doing a breakdown of uh, total miles plus deadhead, plus an average uh, rate per mile. Um, just, to got, just to give you guys a breakdown of what I've done. I've been out for about 18, 19 days, I believe. So yeah, you guys will get that at the end of the video. And here in Illinois, man, it was cold last night. Had my sleeping bag with my blanket inside. I zipped it up, pulled the strings together. It was hella cold. Uh, but now it's damn near sunny outside. Still cold. Still cold. I think last week it was snowing in a certain part of Illinois. Not sure if it was Indiana, one of them. But yeah. Uh, I'm going to go inside, take a shower, freshen up, clean up, get a mint tea. 
and just wait till nine o'clock do my pre-trip and head out there just can't wait to get this load off, off off of me i just can't wait to go home matter of fact i've been out longer but for some odd reason man i just this right especially out in the west man like i'm not gonna go back out to the west for a while well you know until i get a fuel tank i think the issue is getting a fuel tank or having a fuel tank once i get a fuel tank i could go a lot further without stopping i think that's my issue man so yeah Next will be the drop in Danceville, Illinois. Drop these bad boys off, and then we head into Indiana. All right, guys, this is what we call drop time. We got to the drop. Let's see where they want us to unload. Let's keep rolling. GPS took me to the wrong location. It's actually next door. So we're about to uh, shoot over there. All right, we should be in the right place now. Let's do this. Let's get this load off. Indiana. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is the right location. Well, it's not the right location. It's the same company, but wrong location. So it's about three minutes away. I'm gonna run out there and drop it because now it's pushing me behind to get to my other drop. So hope there's somebody there to all on me ASAP. Man, y'all can't believe the much run around that I've had with this load, man. So I come to this one they said to, to, to come to. Now they're saying, oh, we gotta go down the street, make a right, and that's where I get unloaded. Man, what's next? <laughs> man, hopefully I'm in the right place right now. Let's make this the last stop. <laughs> man, let's do this. Soon after. died so i'm using my phone so uh yeah just got done with that drop two gentlemen with they were great they were nice you can see they helped me out with the tarp they helped me out with my straps so now we're heading to uh indiana we got about 30 minutes to spare before the appointment window closed so we're gonna get there in time hopefully so let's go Indiana, Kokomo, Kokomo, Indiana. Let's go get this pick, these materials. I'm gonna head to Texas, man. All right, guys, um, disappointment, man, disappointment. So, as you guys know, I have a 30 foot trailer. Uh, I got here to this load. The BOL said uh, 40, and you know, sometimes the BOL may say 40, but actually, you know, 30 foot is perfectly fine so before the guy loaded me up i get there i said hey listen man let me ask you something uh what's the longest load because i see on the bol it says uh 40 it was like 38 40. And he actually looked at the paperwork we went out there measured the piece of material it's like a metal material 38 38 37 and 32. now you guys know legally i can only hang off uh four so that's a no-no. So I drove two and a half hours out here um, just so that I could not get loaded. And it's a perfect load too, man. It was just paying great. Um, sending me right right home to Texas about maybe an hour and a half, deadhead back home. It was just paying 
awesome. And now uh, I'm stuck here in <laughs> I'm stuck here in Indiana. Uh, I'm gonna head south, partially south, to see if uh, I can get a, a vehicle or even a. a well, I have a vehicle that I could pick up, but it, and it's getting me closer to home. But it's just pain, absolute crap. And I'm not gonna take that. I, I'd rather dead head home than to take that. So we're going to head south. Uh, stop at the nearest pilot. Uh, may wait until tomorrow morning to see what happens. But who knows? Stay tuned. So I've been driving uh, south for the past hour and 30 minutes. Just trying to get closer to Texas um, and in, ho in hopes that I get something. So I got a potential Lexus LX570. Taking it down closer to where I live actually, uh, in Texas. So we're trying to get there in time. Uh, drive out my clock. I have about six hours left, just a little, just a little bit under seven hours, and then drive out the rest tomorrow. So I'm hoping everything goes through. Once I fill up, once I refuel, I'll get the address and location of where this uh, Lexus LX 570 is, and then we head there and pick it up and go down to Texas. It's a unfortunate situation, disappointing, but at least uh, we got something. It's not paying great, but it's paying far better than the other car. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Man, I tell you, just my luck. <laughs> so I get here to pick up the Lexus. The gentleman here told me that it was already picked up from Saturday and it was dropped off today. I can't catch a break. <laughs> All I want to do is go down back home for the Thanksgiving holiday and chill. But uh, it seems like nothing's working out for me right now. Uh, this is probably one of the worst days in my hot shot career to date. I was in Danville, Illinois, dropped off, went to Kokomo to pick up a load. The load was too long for my trailer. Driving south, get this truck, to drive, an, uh, drive an hour and 30 minutes back north to find out that the car was already picked up and dropped off. Man, I think I'm gonna just dead head home. Whew. Cold out there. Damn. 36 degrees, 1224. Pardon me if the light is not too good, sorry. But uh, what a day, guys. What a, what a day, what a week, as a matter of fact. What a week, what a weekend, what a day. Uh, um, I think I'm just going to deadhead home, guys. I, I feel strongly about me deadheading home. I doubt that he's going to find me something from here where I am outside of Memphis, Tennessee. Um, he's got to find me something in Tennessee, Arkansas, and Texas. I don't know if my dispatch is going to find me anything. Maybe, maybe not. If he does, it'd be a good thing. Pay for my fuel. But the way that I'm feeling right now and the way that things has been going, the way my, my luck has been rolling, I think it's just better for me to just dead at home. So, yeah, I'm going to rest up. Uh, I'm probably going to leave out maybe around 6, 7, start heading to Texas. By that time, eight, nine o'clock, he should be on the load board looking for something. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's just how the cookie crumbles. Just is how the hot shot game goes. I mean, this has never happened to me before. It's a first for everything. But um, yeah, see you guys in the morning. Few moments later. Yeah. Morning, morning from uh, Matthew, Missouri. I'm about to get ready to do my pre-trip right now. We're gonna deadhead home. I well, actually, I told it all the miles deadhead. We're deadheading. Well, I'm deadheading a thousand and eighty miles back home. Of course, you guys know uh, two loads didn't work out so much for me. One load was uh, too long. The other one was already booked. So ah, we're gonna deadhead home. I'm about to do my pre-trip right now and get on the road. So one day I'm gonna do a, like a thorough video of how I do my pre-trips. I've already went under my hood. 
Uh, I basically take the pictures off my front, make sure my lights are working, high beams, indicators, my fog lights are working. <clears throat> I check all my tires. I check my trailer lights as well. Uh, I check the tires, like I said, on all of them. You know, but I ain't got no load on there, so. <clears throat> like I said, I check my trailer lights. I got my four wheels going right now. I have a mallet inside. I usually take and hit the tires, but I know my tires are good. Leroy just got <clears throat> six brand new tires on him. So, be good. Uh, going to my trailer at times, make sure the wiring is intact. But sometimes with the rain and, you know, just driving, bumping, stuff can get loose. So, uh, tend to check those but <clears throat> I'm gonna do uh, a video on how I do my pre trips so stay tuned for that minutes left on the drive yeah we made it we made it home about to drop my trailer right now and then I'll be at the crib in like maybe 10 minutes so I get back with y'all give y'all a breakdown like I promised uh, how long I've been out how many miles I did in total and you could you could all uh, basically tell you tell how much I made in the days that I was out so I get back I get back with y'all. Two thousand years. Going on guys. So I've been off the road for a week now. I'm here with Mozzie. Mozzie the Frenchie. He does have an Instagram. Oh, he wants to go somewhere. Alright, go Papa. He does have an Instagram. Mozzie dot the Frenchie. Go follow him. Support him. Support his page. He's doing big things. But yeah. <clears throat> uh getting ready to go back on the road, but as promised, I was gonna tell you guys my total miles including deadhead and my rpm rate per mile so i left out november 4th and got back home november 23rd for thanksgiving holiday um so i started in texas tom bomb i went to salt lake city to drop a load off picked up a load in salt lake city dropped that off in everett washington i got a load from Somewhere in, uh, I want to say Idaho, and took that down to California. I took it to uh, somewhere outside of San Francisco. I think it was, can't remember the name. Um, got a load from California, took that to Idaho, Black for Idaho. I can't forget that name, Black for Idaho. Then I went to Salt Lake City to pick up a load, take that down to Phoenix. I got a load in Phoenix and took that to Dansville, Illinois. And I was supposed to get a load in Kokomo, Indiana. And as you guys could see in the last video, was it this video? This video. That um <laughs> that the load got canceled. Well, it didn't get canceled. The uh the load was was too long for my trailer. I was supposed to get a car. That car was already delivered before I got there. And then I had to deadhead. 1080 miles so anyway so in total i did 7588 per mile averaging two dollars and twenty cents so you guys could total up calculate how much i gross for the times being out and um yeah so like i said i'm getting ready to hit the road again should be picking up a load in san antonio going to maine so this would be my first time going northeast so far northeast so i'm gonna take you guys for the ride get some good content whatever 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 so 
If you guys do enjoy these videos, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. It will help a brother out. And as always, stay blessed and stay true. Let's go on this ride.